Hello guys, Shubham here. So in last video, we saw that how you can easily install Covers OS of version 3 on your POCO F1. So as promised, today we are going to see the full review by deep diving into the ROM itself. So without any further ado, let's get into this video. So now let's have a quick look in system information. Moving towards the above fine section, you can see this is the latest Android 12 or 12L ROM. Moving further, it is running on the 5th of May security patch of 2022 with relevant kernel version. This is something good as I mentioned last video where you can see the version name itself of Covers OS. Clicking on the open Raven desk, you will find the OT updates where you can easily just download your update and flash by locating it from the storage itself. So this is something good and which is quite handy. Moving further in system, you will see all the other normal system functionalities. Now let's move towards the covers customizations. So talking about the customizations, then they have manage and assembled a separate pane. In this pane, the very first option is about the game space, where you will get all the game space and gaming options. If you are a gaming freak, then definitely this ROM is made for you because the type of gaming performance you will get in this ROM is something beyond the limits. So over here you can just set the preferred game mode and everything else you need to have a perfect gameplay you will ever have. So moving further, you will have also some other options such as theming where you can just set your monet engine and also you can just send different font style and some other customization regarding the signal icons and all other icon packs which you want to select. In status bar customization, you will get all the other customizations regarding traffic indicator, clock and date settings and everything else regarding status bar. In quick settings panel, you will get quick settings. In lock screen, you will get options such as double tap to wake and all the generic options. Battery style where you can decide what type of battery style you wanna keep. This is filled circle with the percentage of battery remaining inside the icon itself. Notification where you will get heads up, notification, rate ticker and all the other options. In buttons and navbar you will get option regarding the navbar and all the other stuff regarding buttons itself. In miscellaneous you will get something called as unlock higher FPS and unlimited photos. This is something good as you will get unlimited storage of Google One and higher FPS in games. Moving further in tiles, then you will get all these type of tiles itself. You can just drag whichever tile you want and you are good to go. So in terms of customizations, as everyone knows, Covers doesn't keep any stones unturned. Going towards wallpaper and customization, then you will get all these options which is included in the launcher itself. This Raven Walls is something where you will get wallpapers from Covers the community itself and also some pixel wallpapers these are some good amount of wallpapers and you can rely to it there is something called as themed icon where you will get such type of theme icons as per the wallpaper you have kept moving towards the volume panel the volume panel is arranged pretty much quite good and everything works such as captioning the media and all the other stuff looks perfectly great and fine so that's all about the covers customizations. Now let's play some games that is about the gaming performance. So as I mentioned the ROM is providing something called as game space where you have to set your preferences, add games from a gallery itself and you are good to go. So let's deep dive by playing Call of Duty Mobile and let's see how it works. So as you can see this is the thing that I am playing which is Call of Duty Mobile. And as per my experience, the Call of Duty Mobile works pretty fine on this ROM. The, this is the option which you get on the extreme right side on top 
corner where you can set your fps information enabled or disabled mode which you prefer such as a battery standard or performance i have set performance as per my preference so easily from here you can also see how much frames your game is getting into probably the frame rates doesn't drop beyond 20 or 30 it just stays in 60 to 50 fps and that's pretty much good so in terms of gaming Corvus OS is something which never lets you down and you can seamlessly play your favorite games in it. Now let's talk about the battery performance of this ROM. So talking about the battery performance then on charging on 100% or 90% you will get about 3 to 4 hours of screen on time as per a normal usage. In layman's language once you charge 200 or 90 percent then this ROM will give you a full day of battery life for normal usage such as using social media applications, one to two gameplays of your favorite game and used for some calling and texting stuff. So yeah in terms of battery the ROM performs pretty well good and they might also improve in your future updates. Now let's dive into the safety net check bypass. The good side is that the safety net check get bypass out of the box. No less to expect from covers and then you can use all your payment and banking applications hassle free without any issues. So yeah CTS gets bypass and you are good to go to use all your finance space applications easily. Now let's talk about the photography in this ROM. So on the bad side that the ROM haven't provided any of the custom camera even a simple stereotypical camera which you get with all the roms but not to worry gcam 8.2 got us covered so you can easily install your favorite gcam of whatever version you want and you will get all the features unlocked as everyone knows on camera side you will get all the features which can take your photography skills to your next level on your poco f1 so yeah you can easily install gcam in this rom and it's properly supported you can shoot video in 24 30 or 60 fps without any issues so yeah in terms of photography covers might haven't included camera itself because even they might have noticed that people do use gcam which comes from a third party and they do get some good amount of results itself so yeah in terms of photography you can use gcam without any issues and you can also unlock the 4k video once you set your 4k video you are all set to go so yeah, in camera department 2 you are good to use gcam 8.2 and it works super fine and stable without crashes or any other issues now let's look in the important aspect that is security provided by covers rom so you will get IR face unlock out of the box itself which is something good as some ROM still doesn't have IR face unlock and Corvus OS got you covered with that security. As you can see this sensor which is the IR sensor gets activated whenever it starts recognizing a face and that works pretty much good and fine. Talking about fingerprint sensor then also it works fine and super fast and seamless. Going further this is where you will get all your security features. Good news is you will also get app lock in it. App lock is something which is exclusively launched by Corvus OS itself in from version 11 of Android where you can just lock all your personal applications which you want and have a good amount of security. Now let's talk about some numbers that are run to the scores. So this is the Anduto score which you will get that is 3,14,852. As I said before never rely or believe on this number because it is just a rough estimate. Talking about the performance and about these numbers then there is no match. So this is Anduto score who always want to look into Anduto score itself. Now let's jump to the conclusion. So the overall summary of this ROM is, I have used this ROM for a week or maybe more than a week itself. Since the day I flashed this ROM, I have been using this ROM extensively for gaming and all the other stuff so that I will get to know if this ROM is perfectly fine for everyday use. Then my answer is yes. 
You can easily use this ROM as a daily driver. Looking into all the aspects such as the basic features, customizations and all the other stuffs regarding payment and using some applications, this ROM is perfectly designed for everyday use. For gaming maniacs, you will have a good amount of gaming experience and you will also enjoy the gaming in this ROM as Covers is something famous for its gaming too. So from my side, you can use this ROM for a daily usage without any issues. So that's it for this video guys, if you like this video, must hit that like button and also subscribe this channel for more such content upcoming. Until then, see you again in the next one with some another and exciting ROM and flashable. Until then, peace out.